So I want to do a short video on how to install this kicker uh, self-powered hideaway sub in uh, 2015 through 2020 F-150. Um, first things first, I didn't have the WPT-12 connector that would typically be down in, in between there. It'll be down there on a white clip. You'll see it, it'll just be an open connector. My truck didn't have that, so we had to go a different route with it. Um, in order to get your seat up, if you don't have, if it's kind of a nightmare to do it, you gotta lift up the bottom of your seat so you can get your arm back there. And then there's this here, and I just used a wrench and it was a real pain in the ass to get, so. But I pulled it a bunch of times and really put some torque on it and it finally popped free. So anyway, back to the kicker. Uh, first things first, you're probably gonna wanna disconnect your negative battery terminal. And then this is just sitting in here. I'm not gonna tell you how you should mount it because you can mount it however you want to, but. You have a negative terminal that I just hooked in here to a 10 millimeter. I popped this off and put a um, ring terminal on it and grounded it out there. And then your wiring connections, you have a red positive 12 volt here. You have uh, your speaker wires that are white, which is your driver's side, and your speaker wires that are gray, which is your passenger side. And this is for turning it on and off of the 12 volt source, but on these trucks down on the side here of the kicker amp, you can uh, see where it says input level. If you leave it on high, that'll just um, come from your speaker wiring to turn on the amp and leave it on DC and it'll auto turn on just based on it, the inputs from your uh, speaker wiring. So anyway, I uh, fished these wires back behind here and down through here. This is just the uh, positive 12 volt speaker wires and this is for your base knob up front. I'll show you that right now. So I didn't even have to fish it through my firewall. There's a red wire in this loom. If you see this big red wire right here, it's probably a 12 gauge. That's a uh, constant 12 volt there. So you don't even have to fish it through your wire uh, loom. This is constant 12 volt. And then do not think that you can pick your, your um, speaker wires up here. You cannot pick them up here. You have to come back here and lift this upward. And this here, positive, uh, your positive wire from coming from your rear speakers will be the white with the green. And your negative wire will be your um, brown with your yellow stripe and they're stranded together you'll see them i didn't have any uh t-taps or anything or so i just had what i had at home which was just some trailer splices but they'll work for now just wanted to make sure it works so and then i ran my base knob wire up Brant just tucked it in behind here and i just mounted it right here there's two screws that go in there i just used a uh impact and just slowly put them right there hopefully i won't knock it off with my leg but uh pretty easy install once you figure all that out there will be wires in this loom that will have a similar color to them but that's not the correct wires you have to pick them up before they go into your seat loom so you'll see them back here they're super easy go over to the passenger side for you Sorry for the noise, my neighbors are getting a new roof. So the same deal, came around here with the gray wires. I had to elongate my speaker wires a little bit. Yeah, I used butt splices, I'm a hack, I don't care. <clears throat> same deal here, I looked in this loom and that's when I was like, holy shit, the speaker wires aren't in there at all. But what I did is I just looked under here and <sighs> You got your negative, oops, sorry, my hand's in the way. You got your negative, which is gonna be the um, brown with the blue, and your positive will be your brown with your white, and they'll be stranded together just like that. You'll see them in there. So just cut it back here, don't do what I did. Be real careful with your razor knife so you don't cut anything else, and then you're good to go. Um, if you don't get it, if you turn it on, 
at first and you're not getting any um any base what you do is you just turn up some of these knobs right here i just had to turn up my uh base boost and my gain and it started coming on so don't be uh just mess with it before you think maybe i did something wrong you didn't and then it'll take a couple seconds after you turn your truck off for it to go off so that's that should be pretty straightforward if you do have that uh connector here get one of those connectors i'll put a link to it in the description and then you don't have to run any of these wires you can just have a ford dealership turn it on with four scan but for those of us that don't have it that's the way you do it all right have a good day